Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're here to talk about the Ransoms Parkway 3. As a lot of you may know, I'm actually a grass cutting contractor by trade and I use this exact machine here day in day out. In fact, I've used Ransom's Parkways through their various model lines for the last decade or so, right up to this fantastic Ransom's Parkway 3, which I truly believe is the best one so far. These machines are fantastic amenity grassland cutters. They do parks, playing fields, children's play areas, football pitches, rugby pitches, even down to fine turf like cricket outfields. We get a fantastic finish on all kinds of surfaces and that's due to these cutting cylinders here on the front. It's known as a triple cylinder mower and that's because we've got three cutting heads, one over that side, one this side and one underneath the middle of the machine and that gives us about a seven foot wide cut altogether. The Ransoms Parkway 3 is powered by a Kubota four cylinder V1505 engine. This runs a large hydraulic pump to power the wheels and cutting cylinders. This is the machine in action earlier today. As you can see, it makes light work of this large grass area and when we're going well, we can cut a football pitch in under 25 minutes. Not only is it great for big open playing fields, but it's also agile enough to do intricate work around children's play areas, such as following this fence line. So now we know what this mower does and how it does it, let's talk about how we get it to where it needs to be. First of all, to transport it on a trailer, it's less than three metres in length, slightly more than one and a half metres wide, and with both tanks full, that's diesel and hydraulic oil, it still weighs less than 1,500 kgs. So it fits on a lot of plant and machinery trailers with absolute ease. If, however, your sights are close by, we have a full road lighting kit, indicators, day running lights, rear brake lights, and even a number plate fitted, so it can be road registered and 100% legal to drive between jobs. The Kubota V1505 engine provides the Parkway 3 with 33 horsepower. However, Jimmy the mower is a very lucky boy, and I've got the Meteor version with a turbo fitted, and I get 44 horsepower. The diesel and hydraulic oil tanks are made of lightweight yet durable plastic. The hydraulic oil tank has a handy gauge on top which is visible from the driver's seat. There are luggage racks on either side with a maximum load capacity of 5kg and they come in really handy for carrying your sandwiches. However, if you run out of sandwiches you can always put a blower on there to tidy up when you've mowed the grass. The machine operates an independent four-wheel drive system with large wheels on the front and turf tyres and smaller wheels on the back also with turf tyres. The smaller wheels on the back make the machine extremely agile and easy to turn. Let's have a look at the cutting reels. My machine is fitted with the Ransoms Magna 250 sports cutting heads. They are six bladed cylinders, 10 inches in diameter and are great for cutting longer grass up to about six inches but they're even better at cutting shorter grass for sports pitches and cricket outfields. Let's have a look at them in action. The Ransoms Parkway 3 really is designed with the operator in mind. We have an anti-vibration foot pedal, an adjustable steering column, 
with a stalk to control your lights and indicators, the really comfortable and fully adjustable Grammar Airsprung seat. You can adjust the height, the reach, the lumbar support, it's got two generous armrests and a comfortable lap belt. You can sit on it for hours and hours without any fatigue. It really has improved my mowing day. Hidden away behind the great comfy seat is a toolbox and to the side is a 12 volt power supply. Great for charging up your phone while you're on the go. The mower is ergonomically designed. You've got a control panel here that shows you all the day-to-day -day running data, fuel levels, engine temperature, etc. There's a whole host of other features on there, but that will be in a different video where we're doing actual operating of the machine. This is the throttle lever. That's full throttle and reduced back down to idle. There's an electronic parking brake on there. That's positive lock and you have to click the button and pull back to take it off so you can't knock it off accidentally. These are your hazard warning lights. I haven't had to use those so far. And I don't think I ever will. This is a backlapping button again. This is for sharpening reels. That's a whole other video again on mower maintenance. We'll go through that one of the days. Again, it's a positive lock. It won't, you cannot accidentally push that down. You have to push it the opposite way and then pull it backwards. This is the main button that we use on the control panel, apart from the parking brake. It's the reel cutters. That's forward and that's reels on and running and that's reel stop and off. Now this is a button that we very rarely use. It's four by four uh, in reverse. So basically, if you're in a tight spot and the ground's a bit wet, we can push down this button and it activates the four wheel drive diff locks and we can reverse out of a tight situation without churning the ground up. This little button here that's blanked off, I don't know what that is. And I'm sure if you have ever had a car in the 80s or 90s, there was a lot of intrigue about these blanked off buttons. There's obviously something available on these mowers that Ransoms don't want me to have or want me to know about, but I'll have to ask them when I see them. Moving on to the armrest, we have a comfortable armrest here and we have these three levers. These lift the arms up and down, right cutting reel, center cutting reel, left cutting reel. And this button here, is the weight transfer button. If you get to the end of a stripe and it's a little bit soft under, under the wheels, we can push down on this button and it will just take a little bit of pressure off the reels and lift them up slightly so we can turn without marking the soil or the turf. It's very easy to lift these up and down at a touch of a button, push forward and it will drop down and pull back and they lift up. We can lift these up and down at the flick of a finger. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the overview of the Ransoms Parkway 3. There'll be a couple more videos in this series. The first one will be how to operate the machine and cut grass and the second one will be on the uh, daily and weekly maintenance routines that we need to carry out. Any suggestions for future videos please put them in the comment section below and likewise anything you'd like to know please feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe I'm Jimmy the Mower, we'll catch you on the next one.